If you've ever endured any sales training over the past 40 to 50 years, you probably heard the adage, never assume. It makes an ass out of both you and me. It's been used as a moniker to help new salespeople get clarity in the sales process and not project what they think the buyer's motivation, budget, restrictions, etc. might be. But certainly, outside the sales situations, assumptions cause problems. Now, what constitutes an assumption? I think an assumption is a projection of an expected outcome, and some assumptions are riskier than others. We use many different mechanisms to arrive at assumptions. We can use statistics. He hits 99 out of 100 free throws. So one assumption might be that he'll hit the next one. We can use history. He exhibited this behavior every day this week. Or he exhibited this behavior on Monday. Or he exhibited this behavior once last year. See how the risk varies depending on the specifics of the historical data? Or we can use our learned prejudices. He's stupid based on his accent, dress, hair color, athletic ability, or any learned judgment parameter we might internalize. If this last method actually has any discernible data to support the assumption, it's most likely buried in ancient history somewhere, or worse, learned from someone else's buried ancient history. It's this kind of assumption that will make an ass out of you and me. The free throw bet is just that. It's a possible loss bet. You can try that in complete anonymity on FanDuel. Using history may or may not qualify for the ass award, if inclusions of the actual historical data is entering into the assumption, well, the, I think the ask risk is low. But if the history has burned itself into your subconscious and it's buried in your knowledge base, it's become a learned fact to you anyway and contributes to a highly probable ass award winning assumption. Well, what can we do to lower the risk of executing an errant assumption and, and winning the ass award? We can doubt our assumptions and give ourselves an opening for new data. But we'll talk about the benefit of doubting next month. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.